Assalamu alaikum and hello and welcome to Baby Step Med where I try and make difficult medical concepts a bit easier. Um, please like and subscribe to watch more videos and let's get started. So, the development of the stomach, it's a bit long, um, kind of long, but I swear it's super easy. So let's just zoom in right here, right. So, the stomach. Um, at about four weeks, it appears as a fusy form dilation of the foregut, and its appearance and position changes greatly because of two reasons. Um, number one being that the growth rates of the wall regions are different, and the surrounding organs are changing position as well. So um, that is why. Um, the stomach undergoes two rotations around. So the first rotation is around a 90 degrees longitudinal axis which is clockwise, and the second rotation is around an anterior-posterior anterior axis. So the, let's just zoom in a little, um, the 90 degrees um, rotation um, causes the left side, so it leads to the left side becoming anterior, and the right side becomes posterior, and the position of the vagus nerve also changes. And now the original posterior wall grows faster than the anterior wall, so which leads to the formation of the greater and lesser curvatures. Okay, and then the anterior posterior axis. Originally, the stomach ends lie in the midline, so it's just it's just like a sausage, right? So after rotation, so it just um, moves towards an angle like this. Um, so after rotation, the cephalic or the cardiac part moves to the left and the caudal or the pyloric part moves to the right. So you can remember this by that the heart is on the left side of the body, so the cardiac end of the stomach is also towards the left side of the body. Okay, now towards the mesentries. Um, this happens at about week five. Um, so rotations alter... So rotations alter the positions of the mesentries as well. So you have a longitudinal rotation and anterior lateral uh, rotation, obviously. So the dorsal mesogastrium is pulled towards the left and it forms the omental bursa, which is the space behind the stomach. And then the ventral mesogastrium is pulled towards the right. Now the anterior lateral rotation the dorsal mesogastrium bulges down and it grows downwards and forms a sac which um, uh, which is the greater omentum uh, later the layers fuse later the layers fuse and they form a single sheet that hangs from the greater curvature so what is the greater omentum it is a double layered sac that extends over the transverse colon and the intestines like an apron and now the ventral mesogastrium forms the lesser omentum and the falciform ligament of the liver. So that is it. So dorsal mesogastrium and ventral mesogastrium. Okay. Now the anomalies, of course, this is also going to have anomalies. Um, you have four. You have pyloric stenosis. You have atriatic uh, pyloris. You atriatic pyloris. You have stomach duplications, and prepyloric septum. So in pyloric stenosis, the circular muscles in the pylorus region of the stomach, they undergo hypertrophy, right? And which causes extreme narrowing of the pyloric lumen, so um, which obstructs the passage of food, which leads to severe pro projectile vomiting. Um, this occurs in fetal life, but it may also occur in postnatal life because of erythromycin. Um, and that is it. Thank you for watching and um, just want to say that um, make sure to take a few minutes out of your everyday life to pray for everyone that is suffering. Um, I, I really believe in the power of prayer so I, I just wanted to say that. Okay, thank you, bye.